subscribe my channel tips by anil and press the bell icon for upcoming video hey friends welcome to tips by anil today's topic we will discuss difference between sharepoint and provider hosted app so in my previous video i already told you how to create sharepoint hosted app and how to create provider hosted app so before proceeding watch first okay now next topic is what is app web and what is host web so app web and host web is the part of sharepoint add-ins so you have to learn this also and the third one that that is very hot topic authentication process between sharepoint and remote hosting server means sharepoint and remote hosting server using provider hosted app okay so uh, today's uh, means uh, nowadays this is a, these all are the very hot topic for the interview uh, basically in interview basically uh, interviewer can ask what is the difference between SharePoint and product hosted app what is the app web and what, what is the host web okay so I will request you before proceeding uh, you have to watch my previous video first okay so now let's move on difference between SharePoint and provider hosted app. So the first difference is SharePoint hosted on either on-premises or Office 360 web SharePoint farm. Okay. And so here SharePoint hosted on either on-premises or Office 360 web SharePoint farm only and provider hosted app for SharePoint include component that are deployed on hosted outside of the SharePoint farm means SharePoint hosted app can be hosted on a SharePoint farm or on premises environment like you can host it on a SharePoint farm only but the provider hosted app can host outside of the farm outside of the SharePoint farm only means you can host your Product hosted app on Windows Azure, IIS server that is on premises or any other server, any other remote server. Okay. The next difference is SharePoint hosted app are installed on a SharePoint 2013 website called the host web. Okay. So uh, the third one is they have their resources hosted on isolated subset of host web called the app web. So in detail, I will tell you what is the host web and what is the app web. What is the difference between host tab, host app, and what is the difference between a uh, uh, app web? Okay. The next is they are the provider hosted app installed to the host web, but the remote component are hosted on another server i told you provider hosted app host actually on host web but the remote component hosted on another server means it may be any remote server it may be azure window azure or it may be another hosting server okay and the third one that is very important that sharepoint hosted app uh, the we can use in SharePoint hosted app the HTML code and the JavaScript code or any other client scripting code because in SharePoint hosted app we have only SPX page and we don't have any .CS page so that we can use the product uh, we can use the uh, backend code okay but in the product hosted app we uh, we have spx page also and we have dot cs page also so we can use any backend code that is supported to your remote server it means if you are hosting your provider hosted app to the azure then azure is a part of microsoft and all these microsoft language languages that is supported by that remote server so you can use c sharp sp.net mvc or any other okay and the last one is the authentication process so the privilege of the signed in user means signed in user can access the SharePoint hosted app and the product hosted app authentication I will tell you in my next, next screen so here you can see what is app web and host web 
So the host web is nothing but the SharePoint site where the app is actually installed. I told you where the app is installed that is called host web, but all the resource accessed by a SharePoint web has to be deployed in the different site that is called the app web. Suppose that you are developing a SharePoint 2013 app for your organization in that you would require the app to access and to use the SharePoint components such as list, content type, workflow, pages. In this case, all your SharePoint components should be deployed in a SharePoint separate SharePoint site that is called App Web. Okay. So in next screen, authentication process between SharePoint and remote hosting server using provider hosted app. Okay. So here we can see with a product hosted add-in, you have a remote web application or service that is separated from SharePoint and not part of SharePoint farm or SharePoint online tenancy. Means you can host your component on separate of SharePoint farm. You cannot host your component on uh, SharePoint farm. Okay, but the app will be hosted on SharePoint farm okay it can be hosted in the cloud or on premises server let's assume that it is a tips y anil means you can host it on a cloud or any on premises server okay so we are supposing that our remote hosting server is tips y anil okay so the first point tipsyanil.com used to see some and rest to make call SharePoint using auth token. Suppose that if a remote hosting server want to access the component of SharePoint then it will generate a token by the client side object model or rest API. Okay. The second point SharePoint and tipsyanil.com do not trust each other but both trust ACS. So what is the ACS? ACS is basically Azure Access Control that is used to create the token, create the access token. Okay. So tipsyanil.com support the ACS and SharePoint also support the ACS to create the access token. Okay. Now third point, SharePoint has ACS to create a context token that SharePoint forward to tipsyanil. Suppose that in my previous video I told you how to create provider hosted app and how to deploy the provider hosted app. So we have in that app, in that uh, video we have created a app package and we have uh, deployed that app package in Office 365. Once user will click on that app package, it will redirect to the any remote server and we have suppose that that remote server is tips by anil. Okay. So now SharePoint has ECS to create a context token means SharePoint will send a context token that will forward to remote server tips by anil.com. Now tips by anil.com validate that context token that is by that is issued by SharePoint means issued by the ACS because SharePoint is using ACS to create a context token okay but tips by anil don't know to the SharePoint but he know to the ACS he trust on ACS so now uh, uh, tipsyanil.com validate that ACS token and trust this token Okay, suppose that user has clicked on that app, app will redirect to the uh, tipsyanil.com. Now, user want to access the SharePoint component. He want to add item in SharePoint. He want to update item in SharePoint list. Okay, he want to get the document. He want to add the document. He want to update the document. Now, user will, means tipsyanil.com will send a request to the SharePoint that you have to add a item in SharePoint list. So tipsyanil.com then extract a refresh token from the context token that is shared by the SharePoint that is shared by the ACS to get an access token directly from ACS. Okay. I told you 
tipswayanil.com will refresh a token means extract a token from a context token that is shared by tips uh, that is shared by the sharepoint okay now tipswayanil.com send the request to sharepoint using access token means tipswayanil.com has created a access token and he has created a access token from context token that is shared by the sharepoint that is shared by the acs and it will send a request to sharepoint that you have to enter a item in sharepoint list now sharepoint again validate that access token that was issued by acs means tipswayanil.com uh, generate a token from the context token with the help of ECS now he is sending that token with that request to SharePoint and SharePoint will validate that token and he will SharePoint will authenticate that request and response to Tipsy Anil so basically this is the authentication process between SharePoint and remote hosting server using provider hosted app. I will repeat you shortly in again on high level first first sharepoint will uh, means user uh, once user will click on that app then a authentication token then a context token will send to the remote hosting server remote hosting server will validate that token now if the token will be validated because token has been created by the acs token is validated by the uh, uh, remote hosting server now remote hosting server will generate a context token okay and send a request to sharepoint to access the sharepoint component okay now sharepoint again validate that uh, context token that is uh, that access token that is uh, created by the acs okay if the token will be validated then sharepoint will send the response to the uh, remote hosting server so this is the basically authentication process between sharepoint and remote hosting server using the provider hosted app so if any time interview will ask you what is the authentication process how uh, once the user will click, click on provider hosted app what is the internal process between the authentic authentication then you can explain all these things that i have told you okay so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye